Oh, well, it looks like before I head off to do one of the mini ventures, I have another mini venture. This is just terrible. What am I gonna do? Without them, my hands are tied. You there. What perfect timing. I've got a favor to ask. There are two special spell stones I need more than anything. Please, can you find them for me? A wind and earth? Do I have those? Wonderful. Okay, the two spell stones I'm looking for are a wind spell stone and an earth spell stone. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, oh okay. You found them. Now I have everything I need. Thank you. You saved my hide. Take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I mean, sweet. <laughs> that that was that was random and sporadic, and I, I guess I really didn't need to show that off, but I, I, I did. I did completion sake. Um, I would cut it here, but there is one. Yeah. Chapter eighteen: The Fell Spell and the Quacho Queen. Is there gonna be any dialogue? See, I didn't want to cut it right away. I have to go back to the train graveyard, which uh, still still perplexes me. What was up with that ghost train? Anyways, uh, now I'm really gonna cut it just because I have to have to do stuff in the rail yard and then get the reward, and then we're heading off to the next place. I'll resume when I get my reward. You thin them out? Oh, you're the best. Now the train graveyard should be back to its old self. Thanks. This is for you. It turns out that this mini venture is actually pretty easy. Uh, when it says 10 mirages, it just means individually, so every mirage in battle counts, and that's pretty nice. So uh, it took me like three fights, and I, and I accomplished it. So pr pretty easy, pretty good little mini venture right there. You all can do that if you want. Uh, and yeah. We got the thing. Also, now we're really progressing on with this plot of everything. Uh, you know, the chapter said the thing, so... Huh? That's not the usual train whistle. Look over there. I think I see some lights that weren't there before. That's the north of us! Maybe the train will take us to the upper of the continent! Yeah. What about that ghost train back in the train graveyard? Hey, these tracks don't go anywhere. Maybe they're doing construction. Not, not. Uh, not him. Yes, me. If the conductor is here, then the train must be up in the running. But like, how can he be in so many places? Who's cat touring the other trains? I'm everywhere my passengers need me. The nitty gritty technical details are a trade secret. Hush! Nice oh. try. Yeah. What are you? So, uh, Mr. The Conductor, sir, is the train running? Does it go to the upper of the continent? Of course it does. Go on, then. All aboard. But first, your tickets, please. Ugh. My dance moves just don't have that certain something anymore. What is it that I'm missing? Oh! You're Mirage Keepers, aren't you? Your timing is perfect! I've heard that some Mirages out there are real lookers. If you find any Mirages like that, could you show them to me? I need some new inspiration. Oh, I got one of those. You will? Oh, thank you so much! I just know this is going to be a huge help to me. She's got to be graceful and cute and... On second thought, never mind. Any female Mirage should do the trick. So, uh, Derp. Derp got it. Oh, she's so graceful and cute! That's it! Now I know exactly what it is I've been missing! And it's all thanks to you. Oh, you're the greatest! This is for you. No need to be shy. Oh, uh, well, see you around. That that was easy. Okay, that, that, that was a good one. I had all of the objectives, although I don't know if I would define Derp as graceful or cute. Uh, what's this? Chocobo Girls Special Promotion! Say the magic words to the Chocobo Girls, and they'll give you fireworks! Oh man, the magic words are meow meow 
Choco Chow. Uh, I don't think that'll work. Or maybe I don't know how to say it. I mean, I'll, I'll try sometime I see Chocolate at the Chocobo store. Uh, you. Right, tickets please. Trade secret. Can you tell me what's up with that ghost train? Will it come into play at some point? Go on, then. Am I just supposed All to forget aboard. about it? We would like to take a moment now to kindly remind all our passengers to remain in their seats facing forward. Please fasten your seatbelts at this time. Seatbelts on a train? What are they for? Hmm. Three, two, lift off! World's transportation have to be so. Wow! Huh? Whoa! What? Wow! Aloha, and a warm welcome to the Empyrium. Oh, I am now loving this weather. It makes me just want to laugh out loud. <laughs> I have no idea how to react to that, so I'm just going to ignore you. Now, what do you say we head for that town over there? Oh, you don't have a reaction. I have a reaction. Yeah, that, that's how. I, uh, what you? Can can I examine you? Can can I do anything with you? I mean, mirages are just kind of oh, all over the place. Um, ooh, five star curtains. That's shell, if I remember. Is that a shell I can use? Nope. It's just it's just pretty scenery. I, I'm fine with that. This place looks beautiful. Uh, there's many toys. I can't really do anything with them. Um, also, you were like Aloha. Aloha, and welcome to Grimoire's Tropical Empyrium. Empyrium? I thought this was Besaid. You. Be sure to enjoy our beautiful beaches. I mean, it's very beautiful. I want to take a vacation here. It seems very nice and vacation-like. If an enemy slows you in battle, you won't be able to take action as often. Haste magic will fix you lickety-split, but if you don't have that, you can still recover by using a gold hourglass. Here, this one's for you. Bruh, that's like gold. I mean, I could sell that and make a lot of money. Are you sure you want to give it to me? No, it's, it's, it's probably just decoration gold. As in not real gold, not valuable at all. Just looks pretty. Okay, we've got a temple in the deep to find. Why don't we start by asking around? You. The sunken temple? Oh yeah, everyone around here has heard about it. But since no one's ever been there, who can say if it actually exists? So it's a myth? You. The happy domu kaine. Did it work? I hear shouting those words turns you into an expert diver. Something about what you said. Did it work? I hear shouting those words turns you into an expert diver. 
Are you shouting Final Fantasy protagonist names? Aloha. Sightseeing, are we? Well, welcome to the Port of Bassay. It's not the biggest town in the world, but it is nice and laid back. You two are gonna love it here. Just kick back and relax. Uh, but we're we have a we have a job. We gotta do that. Say that someone really really scary lives right here in town. But I've never met anyone like that. Um. Well, uh, lo and behold, I'm a giant. Now are you scared? Federation came. We'll say that someone really really scary lives right here in town. But I've never met anyone like that. Nope, you're super docile no matter what form I take. That's cool. Mini venture. This letter just isn't enough. If only I had. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be Mirage Keepers, would you? I'm looking for some fish scales. You wouldn't happen to have any you can spare, would you? Yeah, I, I, I got those. I, I, I got those. <sighs> Thanks a bunch. Now I'm finally confident enough to give her my letter. Hmm? What do I need them for? Well, I'm going to use them to decorate my proposal letter. It's kind of a family tradition. We believe that when you ask someone to marry you, giving them fish scales will ensure they say yes. Don't laugh. I get it. I know that fish scales aren't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when people think about romance. But if you ever really looked at them, they're one of the most beautiful things out there. Anyway, you really helped me out. Here, this is for you. Uh, see, I'm a little more concerned as soon as she gets the letter, she's going to be hit five times with low water damage. Or is it medium? No, low water damage, yeah. Um, that, that's going to be kind of, that's going to be more like a rejection letter. What? Um, you know what? I, I approve. Next time I see someone, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. Hey. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. Why not? Well, that's an excellent question. But I'm afraid I've already said too much. Wait, are you keeping some sort of secret? The Federation in this town? They've already invaded? Something happened? You. Ah, the sunken temple, huh? Boy, wouldn't it be something if it were real? I wonder who would actually want to live there, though. Oh, uh, let me answer that question, me. I, I'm sure it's lovely. Is it true that there's a big house at the bottom of the ocean? I mean, everyone seems to see this. Everyone seems to say that there's a sunken temple, and so this guy says it's a house. I mean, sure, if I could breathe underwater, I'd love to live there. I'd be a fish. What's that? You'd like to know more about the sunken temple? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid there just isn't much I can tell you. I've met all sorts of visitors here during my lifetime, but you're the first to ever ask me about the sunken temple right off the bat. Well, it sounds like everyone's heard about the temple we're after. Thing is, none of these people have actually been there. What'd you expect? It's the temple in the deep. You think people would call it that if it was swimmable? From the look of it... The train probably doesn't stop there either. Huh? Pan... to Logist. Always here to assist? Wow! A person that studies the pants? They think of the everything! Yeah. Pants must be serious business. It's Pantologist, dummy. The prefix is Pan. Cookware, huh? Neat! Not those pants. As in all. Like, they do a little of everything. Oh, well, if they do a little of e temple, let's hit the pants. W wait, Lon! That looks like the place. I was going to say, that random gibber gib gibber gibberish at the bottom were they gonna make me guess what that was is this a chest i can interact with i mean probably not because uh i'm trying oh oh <laughs> sure go for this one end up getting that one i mean it works for me i guess uh i don't i don't think i can see what there is anything else either that way also i don't think there's anything this way i think my only course of action here is to go through 
this into the Besaid Laboratory. But next time, that's right, I'm ending up here. You guys will have to wait. This is a cliffhanger. Goodbye! Thank you.